The summer movie season is heating up. Compared to the past couple of years, there are more blockbusters showing on the big screen. And now you don't have to sit in a theater for a movie experience. The coronavirus pandemic actually allowed for a drive-in comeback. News 6 Insider Guide Crystal Moyer joins us now. And Crystal, there is a drive-in that's a real slice of nostalgia here in Central Florida. Oh, yes, ladies. Believe it or not, today is National Drive-In Movie Day. So what better way to celebrate than to experience experience the traditional way to view a movie on the big screen from your car. There are a handful of them within driving distance, including the Ocala Drive-In. I find that there is so much history with a unique experience at the drive-in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Ocala Drive-In. Our concession is open with plenty of fresh-made pizza, hot butter popcorn, hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries. If you've spent some time here at the Ocala Drive-In, you'll recognize this spiel coming from the radio before each movie. It's owner John Watsky on the mic. He said it so many times he's got it memorized. 11 years, uh, at least three times a night. <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> the Ocala Drive-In opened in March of 1948 as Dyer's Drive-In. It only had one screen back then. The original screen in 1948 when it was open was the width of that and straight up and down. Uh, it was a, uh, a, what they called the flat format. But uh, in the mid to late 60s, when they came in with the cinema scope, the wide screen, they added the two wings on each side. The property would switch owners a couple of times, then sit vacant until Watsky took over in 2011, adding a second screen a few years later. A lot of people felt that way, and they thought I was kind of crazy, but I was raised in the drive-ins. My family has worked in the theaters for over 100 years. It's a passion. You have to have a passion for it. If you're looking, it's not a get-rich-quick thing. Watsky charging $6 for adults, 3 bucks for kids. The lot can fit about 300 vehicles. You can watch some of the classics or check out new releases. In fact, at some point during the pandemic, the Ocala Drive-In was the only theater in the country still open playing new releases. The outdoor venue offering a safe and unique way to watch movies. It gives the younger generation an opportunity to experience a drive-in that had never given it a chance. And the older generation, a uh, chance to reminisce about when they were younger. This drive-in combines old and new technology. The movies are shown using large digital projectors, unlike the spinning traditional film. I actually have some film in there, some of the old cartoons from back in the day. The audio still transmitted through the radio in the car, but with a much improved sound. Watsky saying this venue provides more than just a movie. The walk-in is nothing more or less than a movie. The drive-in is a memory. Once you come to the drive-in, you are experiencing a family outing, a get-together. Uh, you'll see the children here running around the, the grass area playing with the other children before the movie. Uh, it's a it's a it's a memory. The theater is open even when it rains seven days a week. Watsky says it doesn't affect the quality of the picture, which is pretty neat. I posted more information about the Ocala drive-in as well as a list of other drive-ins around Central Florida on clickorlando.com slash insider. What a fun experience, yes. whether you're with your family or on a date night. I have never been to a drive-in. No, we were just talking. We have no. it. Well, once I saw that popcorn, I was in. <laughs> right? Was Our in. mouth is watering. Yeah. yeah. And he has some special food there, too. Right, yes, Crystal? he's from New Orleans. So he oh. has like some staple New Orleans dishes there yes. and something to mention too. There are two movies that play on each screen every night. So when you pay for one movie, you could see them both. Oh. Two for oh, one. Bogo. I Good like that. Great. It's a date. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs>